Hey guys, this is Malinki. Welcome back to my channel, Voice of Malinki. Today we will talk about blue white screening. And if you are new in my channel, please subscribe my channel. And if you like my video, please do like, comment, and share my video. Blue white screening is a rapid and efficient technique for the identification of recombinant bacteria. So, what does a recombinant bacteria mean? A recombinant bacterium is a bacterium which contains an extra gene or you can say a foreign DNA fragment. So how a bacteria becomes recombinant? First, we insert a gene of interest in the vector. Vector might be a plasmid DNA most of the time. And all plasmid vectors contain a specific site called NCS or multiple cloning site. This is the site of a particular plasmid where we can insert the foreign gene. Because we cannot insert our gene of interest in a random site of a plasmid. The site is very much specific and it is this MCS or multiple cloning site. Then we insert the vector in the host bacteria. This process is called transformation. If the transformation is successful, the bacteria receives a foreign DNA and we call it recombinant. Now the question is how would you know whether the bacteria becomes recombinant or not? For that we perform next procedure that is selection. Now this selection procedure could be of various types. It could be antibiotic selection, it could be blue-white screening and so on. So here we will talk about blue-white screening. That means in other words we can say blue-white screening is a selection technique. Blue-white screening technique is based on the activity of beta-galactosidase. Beta-galactosidase is an enzyme found in E. coli bacteria. This enzyme cleaves lactose into glucose and galactose. Now we know that bacteria have a special operon that is lac operon. If lactose is present in the media, lac operon is on. When lac operon is on, it produces beta-galactosidase enzyme. Most plasmid vectors carry a short segment of lac Z gene that is the part of lac operon and it contains coding information for the first 146 amino acids of beta-galactosidase. E. coli bacteria which are used as host for the transformation contain mutant lac gene. So it is the deletion of a particular part of lac gene. So lac Z del. Hence they cannot produce beta-galactosidase. When the plasmid vector is taken up by these bacteria, a functional beta-galactosidase enzyme is produced due to complementation process. So, the E. coli bacteria doesn't have the functional beta-galactosidase gene, but the plasmid vector is carrying the functional beta-galactosidase gene. So, this functional gene will complement the non-functional gene of E. coli bacteria and we will get functional beta-galactosidase 
protein. The plasmid vectors used in these experiments contain MCS in the lag Z sequence. The foreign DNA could be inserted in the MCS region. Now, whenever the foreign DNA gets inserted into the lag Z gene, the functionality of this lag Z gene is disrupted. In this case, when this plasmid vector is taken up by the host E. coli, the functional beta-galactosidase enzyme is not produced. If the foreign DNA is inserted at a location other than MCS like this or if it is not inserted at all like this, the lag Z gene in the plasmid vector complements the lag Z mutation in the host E. coli, thus producing a functional beta-galactosidase. For screening the bacteria containing recombinant DNA, a substrate X-gal is added to the agar plate. If beta-galactosidase is produced, X-gal gets hydrolyzed to form 5 bromo 4 chloro indoxy which spontaneously dimerizes to form 5 5 dash dibromo 4 4 dash dichloro indigo. The colonies formed by non recombinant bacteria therefore appear blue in color. But recombinant bacteria will not be able to produce beta galactosidase. Hence, exgal would not be hydrolyzed and indigo color will also not at all be produced. Hence, recombinant bacteria will appear white. One more thing I should mention here. IPTG is used along with exgal for blue-white screening since it induces the expression of lag Z gene. So, this is the ultimate schematic representation of a typical blue-white screening procedure.